So as you've been okay. mentioning, yeah, Juicy, a lot of people, love including Mohammed uh, and his coach, uh, predicting that LCOP will go with uh, a, uh, I believe it was the Pekka Goblin Giant Rage deck, a really easy to use deck here in game number one. I'd be surprised to see him be that predictable. And it looks like he's not going to. There was a lot of people I talked to that thought it might actually even just be Pekka in the back first play. But that's not what we're seeing here with especially the Evo Ice Cream. Shades of Hog so far from Mohammed Light and Royal Giant, something that LCOP did run a lot during his qualifying stages in the CRCC to make this World Championship. Did not typically run it with the Ice Wiz, ran a, a different construction, but curious to see what he has in store for us. Monk ability going to drop down to deflect that Archer Queen ability. The Fisherman as well trying to lock on his cannon. Roll delivery dropping down. Interesting matchup so far. It's the standard Pig's Earthquake versus a Roll Giant Monk. That Monk is going to be very useful versus the Queen the entire match. First minute away and so far just a little bit of chip in both directions. You can see, look at the expressions on their faces. Right, you see some deep breaths here. Even for two of the most experienced former world champions, you cannot replicate what it feels like when it's finally happening. Pigs at the bridge does. He oh had the boy. fireball, he does. Wow, this is a great situation for El Siop. A lot of the time you might see a lightning or maybe even an earthquake with Royal Giant, but that fireball is going to make it so Muhammad Ali actually had to split his pigs and split his damage across the towers. Something he's very good at traditionally, very good at early on getting dual lane pressure and damage. We'll see if he gets that done here today. The Evo RG drops in the back as we go towards our double elixir time. I talked to Muhammad Light and Riley and others, and they said Elsiop is a great player, but maybe his deck picking isn't up to par. But after seeing this, I maybe he was. I mean, hey I don't know. I don't think that's true King because this is a great matchup for Elsiop. Elsiop so back to four. Fireball to clear. The, the log Caravan. for the Evo Caravan. skeletons. And the but, uh, RG doesn't get the damage LCOP wants, gets a little bit in, but a fairly solid job by okay, Mo to mitigate that LCOP. damage despite the great play of us here. Roll in the back yet again, and we know there's going to be another quick. monk in front of that to stop the Archer Queen. And it's really only going to get worse. Later in the match, we're going to see two Roll Giants on the board on each side, which is very difficult to deal with, especially when you don't have a solid tank in your deck. EQ in early and Muhammad Light maybe trying to figure out what's going to be the mathematics to get his damage in and now we go aggressive RG at the bridge left hand lane switching sides this one though getting handled by the cannon of the Long archer queen guard does get a couple of stabs got a long, long same way the yet again and here comes the and split bigs i was talking about you have to cycle. choose which side to fireball the on the right, right. 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 on the left will not like it a second archer and, uh, queen ability yeah. Yes, he and has no, it available, and, um, but he's not going to use it. LCOP yeah, with the yeah, monkey ability like to all prevent. All on going, uh, father, father. Lead now for Mohammed uh, in sudden death yeah, over time. 2462, you top right hand side of your now. screen, 2388 on the bottom. So, I, I don't Evo think the Royal Giant to hold against the Royal Giant. Bigs right away. I really like this pressure on defending, forcing the fire on defense, using the log as well. LCOP knows that this game is very close. Wow, and the ice board doesn't jump. Was that an overspend by Elsop with the fireball and, and the log there? I know he wanted to mitigate everything. all the damage, but, so, you know, instead so of a positive like, trade, now he had a negative. Right yeah, there. and the queen's still alive. He has to log in. Here comes the pigs. And watch out for those Evo skeletons. He has to fireball, but look at the damage of the right-hand side. And you saw he had to wait to make sure that the Evo skeletons and the two pigs were together. Pressure from Mohammed Light now giving him the lead. With a minute eight left, keep in mind oh, that while Elsiop does have fireball and log, there's almost no way they're going into a spell well, cycle situation well, with his defensive uh, needs. Cycles. And here comes Double the right away, the pre right log plus pre quake on oh, the guards, wow. allowing for oh, so well, much damage to come through with these piggies. Elsiop needs to bounce back with a double roll giant push if he's going to make this comeback. Does he double up on that left hand side, or does he go left right here? We see the guards and the fisherman on the right hand side. Evo Skelly's ice whiz plus log to clear. Evo RG still fairly helpful. Second royal giant right behind it. He needs to break through here. Can he do it? The monk is deflecting the queen and the cannon, the roll giant, is walking through. Log dropping down, Ice Spear does get taken out. Evil Ice Spear jumps, the Evil Ice Spear jumps, and that roll giant is locked down. That cannon, the cycle of Mohammed Light. Picture perfect. Can he hold on? 11 more seconds. This is looking good for Mohammed Light. Cannon to hold. Six seconds left. 
Fireball trying to clear. Royal Giant stuck by the cannon, and Moham and Light wins game number one. That is the defense that we know Moham and Light for. The Archer Queen, the cannon cycle, the perfect Ice Spirit placement. I mean, everything was perfect to a T there. Moham and Light showing. Number two matchup. The loser here will face the loser of our next match between Lucas and Grico. And Drill for Elsia. And a Pekka for what? Mo. This is the deck that the Mo is expecting Elsia to play. Elsia really going um, um, completely I different. Remember when I, speaking uh, completely different, we see the Cannoneer Tower. Now that is really not a tower that I expected to see very play. often the during this tournament just because it recently okay, got nerfed. But it seems to be doing very no well versus this Pekka. And it's because a drill time, wall breakers, the two the Evos cat, he's choosing uh, as well. Uh, Doesn't get the connection game. courtesy but, um, of the Rage. A little, wow, little wow, funny wow, here to see Mo and Jules talking about this deck first, all week. Like, this is the deck they expected to go game cute. number one. And then see them bring it out alongside our newest champion. Here comes yet another drill. Next drill will be Evo. I love the placement, pulling Ooh, everything backwards. Long the goes to splash and connect on tower. Good fisherman to prevent that second hit though. Maybe the first blood, Light first significant Zion. blood drawn by Muhammad Light, but no he's spell. back now. Yes. Whoa, Royal wow, Giant in here. This is a whole lot of fun. The Royal Giant gob sign ability is unnecessary. Ooh, the Dark Goblin gets aired out. This Royal Giant extremely healthy on top of this tower. This tower is taking no a beating. And here. The stun certainly mitigating some of that, but down to 16.02. Ooh. And now we'll see, can well, he make some Headway in we'll the opposite direction. Girl. One, one wall breaker pulled. Baby. One does connect. Go, Bandit baby. dashes in. Oh, guards to hold. Right but this is a lot of damage going the opposite way. Outside wow. I mean, both players well, very line. light in the defense, very Let's aggressive on the offense. And here Real comes the offense yet again. The Evo Goblin drill. Real what does Mo low. have to deal with this? The rage is not what you're looking for. No. Snowball in to slow the tower and get Motion. a little extra damage Motion. on there. Now Evo Wallbreakers with the action on the back. And no ability here down to 220. Full connection and Mohammed Light's in trouble in game two. And this is the deck LCOP is known for. Whether it be Cannon Card Bridge Man with the Ram Rider or a Goblin Drill Bridge Man, he knows how to keep that elixir and apply that pressure. The only question is can Mo break through with his Evo Pekka? So far, okay, so right, good like, holding. Right, uh, Bandit dashes at a great time, takes both the Pekka uh, and helps cover uh, against the Doctor. Here we go, drill in, 195 right, remaining, left. snowball down, 25 left, HP, 21, left, gets left, the stab. Elsia has the left, tower left. down. Can he defend for 19 seconds? Here comes the Goblin Stein and the Fisherman and the Guards. The Cannon does not pull. Evil Roll Giant is in cycle. Here comes the Goblin okay, Stein ability. Have, Roll Giant is distracted game. though by the Cannon and the Goblin Drill. I think he's got this defense. Oh my word. This is what you want. Champion versus champion. And the room is very tense here. It's been a soft murmur. As everyone's sitting doing what we're doing, trying to figure out what are they going to do next. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. Well, right now, yeah. As both players are reaching out, well, 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 right away from Mo Goblin Gang well, from Elsiop. Hey, maybe so the order deck from Elsiop. Uh, Mo, I know he likes to play Evo Cage with well, well, cycle decks, so it's not guaranteed <laughs> to be B down here. Elsiop did play some bait. <laughs> 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 The Lightning Dragon, probably not. The Electro Dragon, but for a moment, maybe. Wait, 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 wait. And Loon. Wow. So Loon. Loon. Going to this guy. Ah, Loon. Loon. You, you are crazy. You see bait. Ah. Cage on the board here. Ah. Cage is not really the building ah. you want to have versus this ah. Loon. You'd much rather have a passive. Ah. Shouldn't get a drop, but will get death damage as the Brawler goes and gives its punch the opposite direction. <laughs> Muhammad Light with damage in the lanes. Elsie out. Chip Hello. Right Hello. Hello. And this, once again, yeah. just so fast that he goes to the great deck picks. He has the battle hey, for the goblin. Hey. He has the arrow hey. for the hey. He even has the hey. lava hey. to take hey. for that balloon. Hey. What kind of air defense does Mo have for this last card? Hey. I, I mean, if he has a rocket, that could help, but hey. this is the oh. for our uh, 2022 <laughs> champion.
a little prince and so, a princess yeah, back, back, back. go to work. Although the princess get out. <laughs> from the lava hound, cage pulls to the middle and get out, get out. retarget towards the Evo Electro Dragon. Oh. Bar barrel picked up by the fire spirit plus the knight. Great protection by the of light. Lava Bugs are trying to take his little prince. They are successful. The princess will help out. And here comes the Gamma Barrel on the counter push. The knight is tanking. LC up. Not really playing Whoa. much. These goblins are doing so much damage. Oh, yeah. well, there's be some cycle issues there for Elsie. You've seen him <laughs> shaking his head a lot in this matchup, and I think that maybe he got his cycle to a position where he was not happy with his ability to defend. Yeah, he was low on elixir as well, but at least he's up about one elixir here. He's able to get that lava. Molai decided to use the princess aggressively uh, to apply pressure off the lane this time. And you see him going with the gang to clear the princess rather than a spell, making sure he's not going to get caught flat-footed by the incoming imminent Evo Barrel. No Evo Electro Dragon cycle. That makes defense a lot easier. And here comes the Evo Barrel, like you said. Arrow's dropping the wrong one. Real Goblin's the right doing massive damage. But now he has to defend. Lava Hound in. Balloon in. Pups all around. Mohammed Light's defense is absolutely picture perfect. Electro Dragon gets a couple shots, but he needs a lot more oomph in his push than that, and yet another Goblin Bear. Goes to the inside, easily read by Elsiop. And this has just been so well controlled. You were worried about the air defense, but Little Prince, Princess, Goblin Gang, and the MVP so far has been the Snowball. Arrow's dropping down the gang. Here comes the free snowball from Muhammad Light, forcing out the Barbarian Barrel, but now he can outcycle with this Princess, bait out those arrows, and get another Goblin Barrel down right away. What does Elsiop have in store to try to battle back into this one? The margins are so thin. Has to cover the left-hand side. Right-hand side is a problem. The Knight touches down to 59 HP. Princess on the left-hand side. Nothing on the right-hand side. GG, well played. Mohammed Light wins the first match of World Finals. And he finished it with Mohammed Star Light, the best. Subscribe. Subscribe.